Hey y'all, um, it's Cammy's Cam again. I'm back with another video because something weird just happened. Let me turn this camera around. Yeah, sorry I look like a total mess, but I just got the shower and I just washed my hair. All my acne is showing. That's that PCOS. But anyways, I just, and the Super Bowl's on, so that's all that noise. Let me turn it down. Anyways, y'all been following along on my journey, and I have PCOS. I have an ovulation to where my body does not ovulate by itself. And what else I got going on? My HSG was clear, so I don't have blocked fallopian tubes. So that's a little bit with everything. So I usually take Flamera to make my body ovulate. However, this month I did not take any fertility drugs because um, I had to get my HSG done and they did not want me to take any type of fertility medicine. So I did not take any medicines. But I've still been tracking my ovulation just to see if I randomly happened to ovulate because I was taking that, those teas and the serapeptase. So I've been taking serapeptase Sarah Peptase for about two weeks, two or three weeks, and those Yimu KO and the Zyan KO. So I've been taking those, and I've been taking my ovulation test, the clear blue, these little ones right here, the digitals. I take those every now and then. I'm not really trying to get pregnant this month. I just want to see how my body would work and react to those medicine, that tea and that. Sarah Peptase, and I had cinnamon honey tea also. Um, also, I've been using these Clinical Guard OPK tests, these things. So, it's a stack of them. This is all the used stuff I use, all the sticks that I've been using. Um, however, I have not gotten a positive, and I am on cycle day. I did not get a positive OPK yet. Well, I got a positive Clinical Guard OPK on cycle day. 13, which I thought was pretty weird because if I ovulate, my cycles are usually between like 33 days and 36 days, so I would not ovulate that early. Never on cycle day 13, so I figured that was a false test. It was on this little green strip test where I got a positive. But, however, when I got that positive, I took the clear blue digital OPK and it was negative. And so later that day, I took another green test, the clinical guard. And it was negative, so I figured that one was wrong. I did not ovulate on cycle day 13. That's too early for me. Um, however, however, y'all, um, I took this test today just randomly. Okay, I take these. I've been taking these just to see if I was going to ovulate. So I've been taking them since cycle day. Let me see. I have period tracker on my phone, so that's what I'm checking now. So I've been taking these tests, and I've been getting a little blinking, flashing, smiley face since cycle day 17. And I was getting concerned because I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6 days? I, have si I had 6 days of blinking, flashing, smiley face, and I don't think that's normal. That means uh, high fertility. And then, on cycle day 23, it was just, it went from the blinking, smiley face to the low fertility, which is just a plain circle on the box. And that really confused me. It just totally skipped the peak. Um, it totally skipped the peak one. I just got that. After I got the flashing one, it went straight back to that on cycle day 23. So I was like, well, I guess I didn't ovulate. I guess I didn't ovulate. That's what I was guessing. Sorry, every time that happens, it's my husband. But yeah, I guess I didn't ovulate. Um, so I just was like, oh, well, I'll just wait for my cycle. And I was happy that I got the flashing smiley face because, like I said, my body does not ovulate on its own. Supposedly, I had to take fertility drugs just to make my body ovulate. And most women don't have that problem. At least y'all have PCOS and you ovulate. My body doesn't even ovulate. So I was happy to have that little blinking smiley face. But then, to go from the blinking one straight back to the low, the just the plain zero, meaning you 
basically didn't ovulate, I was confused. Um, so I was like, okay. After that, in the, uh, when I got that plain zero, the low, the low fertile day, I checked this one and it was a negative also on the little green one, the strip. So today I was just randomly had my intuition to check again just to see what would happen. And today is cycle day 24. 24. I go and pee in a cup. It's not morning time. It was about 5.30 when I took this just a while ago. And this is what I got. Like a stagnant smiley face. Meaning I'm in my peak fertility. After I got a low fertility circle. So I'm like totally confused. Totally happy. But totally confused and wondering if it's true. Well, you know, I pray and ask God for, that's what I ask God for, for to help my body naturally ovulate on itself. And when I got it, it's just so confusing. And the other thing is, I don't have any more of these. I just went and looked for some. Hopefully, I actually, I do, I do have one. I just have to find it. But I, I'm going to take another test. I'm not going to take a digital one, but I'm going to do it on the strip later on when I find it. And I'm going to make another video for y'all so y'all can actually see if I did ovulate. Because, like I said, my body does not ovulate. I have an ovulation. So, I'm super excited, super confused. Um, if this has happened to any of y'all before, let me know. But I'm super excited because I'm guessing those teas and that serapeptase and the things I've been doing has helped me. I was just looking up Vitex earlier today because I was thinking about buying some of that to see if it can help my hormone imbalance and... You know, kind of regulate and get me normal. But now I'm kind of like confused. I just don't know what to do. Like a random positive OPK after a total negative. Like total negative. The next day. And it's cycle day 24. I don't think I would ovulate that late. So, now I'm just confused. The other thing is that lately... This is a little TMI, but I've been having that, that high sex drive. Like this morning, I woke up. I'm usually the type of person, we'll do it at, we'll baby dance at nighttime, you know, before you go to sleep. And then I like to do that also because his sperm can settle in me a little better. However, this morning, I was on like 10. <laughs> I was on like 10, so, you know, I woke him up. Oh, I didn't wake him up. I tried my best. I let him sleep as long as he can, as long as he could, but he started turning. So I'm wondering if he was waking up. So while he's trying to turn and stuff, I'm nudging on him a little bit. So, you know, I guess my drive was increased. And then earlier today, I also told myself, um, sorry, I'm missing the Beyonce girl singing the national anthem for the Super Bowl. Hold on, guys. Almost, y'all. So, anyways, y'all, sorry I had to pause because the girls were singing on the Super Bowl, and that's what I was waiting for. But, anyway, so I finally got a positive um, OPK, and I'm just confused. But I'm happy at the same time. So, y'all let me know if this has ever happened to y'all. I'm wondering if I should test again tomorrow with an oh well, No, these things you can only use once. You can't use them again after you get a stagnant smiley face. So, I'll up update y'all tomorrow. I'm going to take one of these clinical guard strip OPKs to tell me if it's going to correlate with this one. Because I am super confused. Like I said, I was going to buy Vitex. I might still do that. But the thing is, me and my husband were thinking about doing IUI, and it's, if you watch my other video with me crying, and it was an emotional video, I was saying how it's pricey and it's kind of confusing with my new job. However, if my body's starting to ovulate on its own and do what it's supposed to do, I might just wait a few months and just go the natural route and, you know, save that $1,500 basically for... My, my Not my fertility treatments, but for my baby treatments because I'm going to get pregnant. <laughs> so, y'all just let me know if that's ever happened to y'all if you have an ovulation. Or if your test has ever went from the blinking back to the regular zero 
and then back to a full blown positive. So yeah, just let me know what y'all got going on and how it went for y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm going to upload another video because I'm going to take one of those other tests. And I'll tell y'all how it goes. So I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching Cammy's Cam and I'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow my journey. Go ahead and subscribe now because I think y'all can feel how I feel. And hopefully I can help y'all and y'all can help me. And we can take this journey together. So again, thanks for watching. Bye.